Martin Luther King Jr. Day. It's also the day before the inauguration of Barack Obama. So we're here on the mall. There's a choir up there on the steps of the Capitol practicing Green Card. There's people everywhere on the mall. It stretches all the way down to the Washington Monument, way back there. We don't have tickets yet. When we began the quest for the golden ticket, actually it turned out to be silver, but it was the ticket, the ticket in town that everybody wants. This is the perfect cart because not only do they have organic food, they have Diet Coke. It's the perfect combination. This is the most accessible inauguration in history, and that includes porta potties. We actually read that every accessible handicapped porta potty from New York to Florida is here today. So the people who have tickets get to sit way up here and they get chairs. Yeah. Late in the day, we went to the Senate office and we had very good line karma because waiting to get in the Senate office, very long lines for security. We were actually in line behind Tyne Daly, Cagney and Lacey. Hello? Yes? Um, and a security guard came by and showed us it's a way a shorter here. line. So we went through that security line and then through the basement of all the office buildings. Second Diet Coke of the day and the vending machine actually takes credit for it. Now we are in the Hart office building. It's where the senators have their offices and we are at the office of Senator Kent Conrad of North Dakota and two inauguration tickets. These are actually for Amy that we're staying with, but we picked them up and for a few moments we actually have them. And we checked just in case they had extra tickets. They did not. Um, so we stopped by the Minnesota office and we visited Amy Klobuchar, got a quick picture with that senator from Minnesota. We love her. Okay. She had no tickets either, even though she got Norm Coleman's tickets because he wasn't allowed to give them out right now because we're not sure if he's the senator or if Al Franken is the senator or whatever. That's a different video. So we were waiting outside in a super long line to get into the house building. Uh, the rumor on the street was that it was a three hour wait to get through security and then Someone came by and asked who's going to the North Dakota reception. We had the invitation. Suddenly we're walking past the line, didn't even go through security, and followed the mayor of Fargo into the North Dakota reception. So I went to the North Dakota reception, and it's right here, and I ran into Justin that I went to high school with. Tell me why you're here in the I'm here for the inauguration and to get the job. And what kind of job would be great? The executive, legislative, or judicial branch, one of those we find. Have you gone to lots of inaugurations? I've only been to one other one. Which one? The 2001 one, strangely enough, so I'm really seeing both ends of the spectrum. You've seen the Republicans and then the Democrats, mm -hmm. and how is it different when the Democrats are doing There are a lot more people here. Really? They're a lot more excited. Interesting. Well, yeah. They seem to be more excited for things that we can all do together. And he knows people. We know people. And likes them so much she's singing it. And singing when she talks. All right. It was huge. The quest for the silver tickets was over. Thank you for watching my video. Bye.